everybody. This is Miss Betty for the Griswold Memorial Library. Today, we're going to make apples. This apple happens to have a worm in it. What you need is a small paper plate. I happen to have some red ones, or you can use white ones. Some brown and a green construction paper. Some crayons or markers. Glue stick. Scissors. And some wiggly eyes. First, you're going to take, and if you have a, a red paper plate, you don't have to do any coloring on it. But if you have a white paper plate, you can either use markers or crayons and color it all red for an apple. Then, Take your scissors and round off the top and then cut a little indent just like the top of an apple. And do the same thing on the bottom so it looks like an apple shape. These are nice, fat, nice, fat apples. Then you're going to need a slot for your worm. So take your paper plate and bend it, but don't fold it. And then take your scissors and cut a little slit. That way you'll be able to put your worm in. Take some white cardstock and cut yourself a worm. You can cut as big a worm or as little a worm as you would like. Mine is kind of big. I would hate to see one of these worms in my apple. Take your little worm and color it with crayon or marker so that it's a green apple, like you'd find in an apple if it was, had been infected with worms. After you've got it all colored, take a couple of wiggly eyes and glue them on your face of your worm. Little wiggly eyes. Give your worm a little smile. He might just as well be a happy worm eating your apple. And then take it and your slit that you put in your apple, you can put your worm right right. You can put your worm right into your slit in your apple. Then you'll need to cut a stem from some brown paper and a leaf for some green paper. And then take your glue stick and glue them right on the top of your apple. And they'll look like it's been just picked from the tree. And then your apple project will be all finished. Happy September. Thanks for watching. Bye.